The Wounds of Eventide DLC brought with it a new canonical ending that served to set the tone for the sequel coming in 2023. In this video, I'll be analyzing the events that occurred in this ending and attempt to provide an in-depth explanation on the lore implications this new content brings to Blasphemous. So, without further ado, let's get started. After assuming the entirety of all sin in Custodia, the Penitent One had achieved the impossible and attained supreme suffering. Armed with the mea culpa, the physical manifestation of guilt itself, the Penitent One journeyed to the other side of the dream and reached the Path of Eternal Processions, where the High Wills watched their grievous miracle plague the people from their sadistic perch. As he met with the Supreme Trinity, he was cursed for bringing guilt to their sacred realm. It was here that they revealed that the miracle was under their direct influence and served as an extension of their desires and a reflection of their twisted tendencies. They referenced the first miracle they decreed and mentioned how the Twisted One, who was once a man of flesh and bone, was sanctified. Interestingly enough, they stated how the path of eternal processions was more ancient than they were, as it had no true beginning or end. This fact alludes to the possibility that they were somehow willed into existence or manifested by some unknown force. It may have been the people's faith that created it, or perhaps another cosmic power that has yet to show itself. What we do know for certain is that the miracle, for a lack of a better term, siphoned the guilt and sorrow from the people of Custodia who so fervently worshipped it, and wove together the path of ancient processions from the threads of their faith. Peace and harmony did not await those on the other side of the dream. In fact, the path extended infinitely into a horizon of blinding light, leading the few who could possibly step foot into the realm to run endlessly towards a heavenly kingdom that did not exist. Instead, the High Wills would watch from a place higher reaching than the sky itself and eternally relish in their congregation's blind adoration. Before they were vanquished, the High Wills cursed the Penitent One with an eternal condemnation that would not cease even beyond life and death. His name and face would be forgotten for all time. Furthermore, this ultimate sin could not be exonerated by any penance. And so with this final farewell, the Penitent One, together with his new ally, Chrysanta of the Wrapped Agony, silenced the High Wills, and with it, the miracle that had caused untold suffering. With the destruction of the High Wills, it would seem that the Penitent One's pilgrimage had finally come to an end. Mea Culpa's blade disintegrated, as its purpose had been fulfilled, and even the Twisted One turned to dust. The death of the High Wills meant the death of the miracle, and as such, any one and any thing that had been touched by its wicked embrace would revert back to the way things were prior to its blessings. The Penitent One was one such being. It seemed under the direction of His Holiness Escobar and the High Wills, Chrysanta had carried out her task all too well and killed him when she slew the entire Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. It was the miracle that had revived him, and so with the miracle silenced, he too perished. Deo Gracias and Chrysanta carried the Penitent One to his final resting place and prayed over his lifeless body. Through his supreme suffering, he had finally attained supreme absolution. After some unknown period of time, a new miracle was conceived, quite literally, and from the sky a massive heart-shaped womb descended from the clouds, complete with an embryo in the form of a man. It seemed the miracle had physically manifested itself in the realm of Custodia, and wanted to deal with matters personally. But would things be different this time, or would the people of Custodia suffer for the Penitent One's supreme absolution? Only time will tell as we patiently await the Blasphemous sequel in 2023. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.